Every one of you have got thoughts, isn't it? Is there anybody thoughtless? Uh, are you not conscious that there are thoughts in your mind? Is not those thoughts are there from the moment you wake up till you sleep? Are not there thoughts in your mind? Do you not from morning till evening complain about your own thoughts? I am worried, I am anxious, I am unhappy, I am very happy. Is it not all thoughts? So none of you are a stranger to thoughts. What is a thought? <laughs> that you see, Swamiji, it comes, it comes, what? Thoughts. And disturbs me. I am always disturbed by my thoughts. Good. What is a thought? You have never thought. <laughs> On what is a thought? You generally complain that I have got thoughts. A thought cannot be without an object. Come on, everybody. You are free to think whatever you want to think. Only thing is, there should be no object. Think. You cannot. When there are no objects, there can never be any thought. It must be an object with a name and form or an emotion or a theme. Without an object, there is no thought. Wherever there are no thoughts as in deep sleep, there are no objects. Every thought has got an object. A theme, a subject on which the thought hangs. Camel, rat, cat, Dog, table, chair, your mother. When I said these words, is it not true that when I said camel, camel thought came to all of your mind? I am sure that no one of you was thinking of a camel. Until I said camel. The moment that, that sound symbol came, that object, there is a thought. So thought is, an object is necessary, but all objects that I know do not become my thoughts. When I become conscious of an object, it becomes a thought. When I said camel, you became conscious of camel. So a thought is an object plus consciousness. Conscious of a vishaya, its object is thought. So, object plus consciousness is thought. Therefore, symbol arithmetic. Thought minus objects is equal to consciousness. consciousness.